Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how I made these um, bongo horns. They're for the Calgary Zoo. So if you haven't already seen my sculpting video, uh, it's over on my um, YouTube for free. You can see how I sculpted this piece. Um, and then once I've sculpted this piece, I have a couple of videos coming up on my Patreon. Um, one is going to be about how I, well one is already up there actually, it's how I um, moulded the, um, the horn and you'll get that process on my Patreon. One's already up of how not to mould a horn um, and the other process will be um, how to slush cast that horn as well. So couple of things coming up too will be over my patreon uh, which the link is in my description box but once I have cast this in resin um, I need to start cleaning up this flashing that you see on the side of it so basically what I do is I go over with a blade and I can remove the really superficial flashing uh, anything that needs to be sanded I sand on my Dremel um, and with just a little sanding bit uh, but with slush casting, just be careful not to sand too much because um, it is a hollow cast and you might go through onto um, create a hole on it in it. So uh, just that, just keep in mind uh, when you're um, sanding um, hollow cast things is to not make a hole in it basically. So uh, this little spout that I have, um, I put there for just like to have a um, spout so I can pour into the mold. Uh, so I'm going to be removing that. When I sculpted the spout, I did a little track around the base of it so it would be quite thin when I cast it so it was easy to cut off. So I just used um, some little clippers to cut it off and cleaned it up with a blade. And to cover the hole um, with the slush casting, I uh, used my epoxy sculpt to create like a little um, backing on it and just closed it over and smoothed it out with some water. Uh, epoxy sculpt is really great. I have a video on my YouTube all about it if you want to know uh, some more about it. But um, yeah, it's really handy. Dries rock hard and um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple to use. So I left this to dry overnight just to make sure it was properly cured and hard before I moved on to any painting. Um, that's the thing with epoxy sculpt is it takes a little bit longer to, to cure but um, it's worth it in the end because of the strength that it provides. So moving on to the painting, so I would recommend cleaning your resin pieces before you apply any paint to it. Um, sometimes resin can uh, seep through um, and sort of interfere with your paint job. So once that's been cleaned and all your little holes have been patched and everything, I use a primer to prime it. There's a couple of different primers you can use. I'm using a canvas primer which is um, by the brand Druvian Matisse. It's like a gesso or something I think it is. Um, but it leaves a really nice tooth on the piece so uh, paint can adhere to it. You can also use automotive uh, primer as well, that works really well. The reason why I stopped using it is it's um, not as friendly as paint and it's a bit more expensive and it's also grey and I find grey a little bit difficult to paint over sometimes so um, I moved on to using this, um, this primer for my pieces. So once it's dry, I can start applying all the colors that I, uh, while applying the paint job, really. So I'm using uh, acrylic water-based paints by the brand Chromacryl. Um, I quite like this paint. I find it really nice consistency. Um, and I'm just basically doing layers of uh, paint and also doing some dry, dry brush techniques, um, which is kind of self-explanatory. So I'll probably leave this video to play out. Um, I I doubt I really need to explain much more than that. It's um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory when you watch the footage. And uh, yeah, so I ended up varnishing it with a Liquitex matte varnish just to protect the paint job um, and let it dry for a couple of days before packaging it up and sending it out to the Calgary Zoo. So um, yes, anyway, if you want to uh, check out my Patreon, you get access to those videos that I spoke about uh, at the start of the video and um, you can uh, get access to a whole heap of other things like discounts, uh, other videos, patterns, watercolors and early access to all of my work. I'll have a um, 
bunch of new things going up in my shop including uh, a whole bunch of flying foxes so if you want early access to that you can join my patreon uh, and you get access to my patreon only shop section uh, where you can purchase things before they're released uh, to everyone else but uh, you can also check me out on instagram facebook creatures of nat and you can also find me uh, my shop rather uh, at creatures of nat.com uh, so check it out and thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe uh, it helps a lot and uh, i'll catch you in the next one bye Ha <laughs> ha